Hi, um, it's me again, and this time I'm going to talk about something that I've just been getting started on. You see, I do have quite the love for physical music formats, even though I am paying about six euros for my Spotify Premium student account. That doesn't really take away my interest for older things as well. And so, I did end up having quite a number of them. Just getting started with my uh, CD collection. I do have a couple game CDs already, but the music CDs, they're almost all some thrift store knickknacks. And they're all in this box. Now, I thought some time ago about buying one of those CD stack things, or other CD storage solutions, but then I found it. And it's got more than enough space for all of my CDs, at least for the moment. Um, so, I'm just going to show you some of the music CDs I have. This one, um, it actually contains some nice music from uh, Limburg province of the Netherlands. Right, here's a CD that I bought. Um, this one came out for the old music festival here in Utrecht. And it was actually the first CD I bought at the uh, local thrift store. Sorry. Uh, and here is actually the first CD single I bought. Um, so if you don't know what a CD single is, that's just a CD. That has one or two songs on it as compared to a normal album. Another one is this one, the Ultimate Americana Music Fest in 2006. Another festival in Utrecht, but it does contain some nice American songs. Now, for a time, I also already had this karaoke CD. It contains some children's songs that I can sing along with the microphone. In fact, I think we used to have a karaoke set that broke down pretty quickly after I've got it as a gift. And right here, um, the um, game CDs for Rollercoaster Tycoon 1, 2 and 3 which I still play from time to time. Uh, this CD contains a game and a soundtrack that is related to a Dutch film. Um, and finally, there's also a CD in here that I'm not going to show you, but that just has quite the number of old photos on it. As I said before, these are just um, random thrift store knickknacks. And in fact, our local thrift actually has a little deal where if you buy more CDs at once, that's cheaper than buying them during different visits. Like if you have one that costs 175 or something like that, I think. The first one costs... Mm, and then the next one costs 250 uh, if you buy two at once, sometimes um, they do play around with those rules a little bit. Um, but yeah, I will definitely buy some new CDs along the way. Just as I might buy some vinyl records. But now I'm kind of steering more towards CDs because for vinyl records, I don't really have that much space at the moment. Nor an actual organized place to put them yet. So uh, see you next time. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.